Hi guys, welcome back to King's Crimes and Outworlds. In today's video we're going to be showing you how we've made a terrarium for Junior's Wild Ice Pod Colony. We'd like to give a big shout out to Tara's Tank Friends, Lazarus the Fish Boy, the Creatures Corner and Ants and Pets. First off we've got a nice plastic 10 litre tank that we're going to use for the ice pods and we've got some clay balls which we're going to use for the drainage layer which you can now see me doing right here. some black net which we're just going to put in the, over the clay balls so when we put the substrate in it doesn't all mix in with the clay balls underneath. Um, we've got some sedge peat which we just got from my local pet store um, and here I'm putting the putting it in and I always do around the edges first just to weigh down the edges of the net first and then do the middle bit. And so yeah this is the substrate layer for the tank now. <laughs> got a nice piece of bog wood which we're putting in because obviously ice pods they like wood um, which they chew live in and everything you know um, so that's going to go in just there and I'm, I really like this piece I think it's really nice <laughs> Also added a nice little spider plant that Junie wanted me to put in there, um, which I think looks really nice. And then we've got some bark to go in all around this section of the um, terrarium as well, just to make it look nice. And the ice pods like it as well; they will like nibble it and everything. So, it just makes it a bit better for them. <laughs> some Habistat sphagnum moss as well which is nice very moist that'll make a nice moist area for the ice pods to stay in because they are crustaceans and so they like to have like nice moist areas as well in their terrariums and this does hold moisture really well so we're just putting that over in that section there for them to enjoy <laughs> an almond leaf, Indian almond leaf, just for a bit of leaf litter for them because I do enjoy eating leaf litter so I'm just scrunching that all up and putting that in as well for them to enjoy when they go over there. And of course their source of calcium, I've just washed a little bit of cuttle bone so that's now going to go in there as well and they'll be able to obviously chew that and get all the calcium needs they need to have for their nice hard exoskeletons. And now it's time to just spray the tank, get it all really nice and moist for the uh, ice pods for when they know, then go, can go in there. This is the finished tank and we are super happy with it. Um, these are the wild ice pods we had. We found loads of them out in the garden, um, just like in the middle of the garden, not really around any groundwood or anything. 
um, and do you know what to collect them up and have a look at them. Um, they're just in a nice little glass jar, you know, just with a bit of sphagnum moss. And uh, they have bread in there. We've got some baby ice pods in there as well, but I'm not sure if you can see them in there at the minute. Um, so that's really exciting. And so we thought, well, we may as well just make them a nice big terrarium. They can all go in there and live happily. Um, you can see one of the baby ice pods in there, on the bit of wood down the middle near the big pill ice pod. Um, and we're really happy they have bread. It's quite exciting as well, so we should have a nice little colony going right there. And the top ice pod, that's a pill ice pod. It all curls up and everything when it's when it's disturbed. Unlike the other ice pods, they don't tend to really curl up, that I've noticed anyway. Um, so we're excited we've got one that's a bit different to what we've seen before. And see here, I've got the pill ice pod out now. And we're going to go and put, go ahead and put him in the terrarium in a second. And here we've got another um, isopod here, just a common wood louse from, you know, and uh, can't wait to see, it seems, to get into their terrarium, so uh, in it goes. tiny baby isopod I've just got out of the glass jar which we're now going to put in there um, so cute so tiny and uh, hopefully we'll, they'll all thrive in their new surroundings <laughs> You can just enjoy seeing them all in their new little tank set up and uh, tell us what you think in the comments. They all seem to be doing really well in there at the minute. They all seem to be moving around and exploring their new surroundings. Nice big tank for them rather than that little jar they were in when Junior was looking at them before. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.